Yo, peace and love. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to the Neighborhood Negus Show. You feel me? Today, I want to talk to y'all about the importance of symbology. All right? And why it's, like, important for you to grasp this concept, especially moving forward in this new age that we in. All right? So, let's go ahead and jump in. Um, just this morning, it was announced that China is experiencing symptoms of the bubonic plague also known as the black death okay now for anybody who doesn't know the bubonic plague was a plague that happened like in the mid late medieval times you know what i'm saying which killed off a lot of people over in the european areas you know what i mean it killed off like one third of the population over there okay so um with that being said Let's look at the symbology of that announcement, all right? And let's compare and contrast the state that we're in currently and the state that they were in in the past for it to happen, all right? For one, the the Europe back then was poverty-stricken. It was so many people, poor people, just on the streets, couldn't afford, you know, shelter, couldn't afford food, couldn't afford so much. You know what I mean? Now, let's compare and contrast to where we're at right now in the United States. Currently, we're have, we're hitting one of the highest poverty levels that we've ever been in. You know what I'm saying? To the fact, to the point to where, you know what I'm saying, people can't find jobs. It's like, um, what was it? Um, unemployment levels. I forgot what the amount, what the number was. But long story short, they out here, you know, giving out stimulus checks and stuff. So, I mean, people really need money. People are really hurt right now. They ain't been able to work because of fear of this coronavirus, right? All right. So, um, with that being said, that's just number one. Number two, the food that they had. The food that they had during the time of the Black Plague, you know, it was, it was poor. It was, like, inhumane in a sense. You know, they didn't have any nutritional food that was actually able to sustain them and provide them the type of nutrition they needed to you know what i'm saying be healthy and look at what we got going on right now you got fast food restaurants like all people have time for is fast food they don't cook no more because they always on the move and fast food is nothing but grease you know what i'm saying they got parasites and all types of stuff in the food like it's frozen it's not fresh like you know what i'm saying just look at the correlation you know what I mean? All of our food right now is genetically modified. You know, even some of the plants and um, fruits and vegetables, like the soil that they're being brought up in isn't even of nutritional value enough to provide good, you know, substantial, the type of energy that we need, especially as black people. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't, we, we really, you really have to just pay attention to that. I'm not going to get into the in-depth of that part. All right. And, um, Let's look at what what's the third uh correlation between between them and us right now. Um society, man, you know what I'm saying? We're in a split right now. We're in a frenzy like poor versus rich, you know what I'm saying? Like just the structure of how it is, you know, it's just so many people that just can't they're not able to get, you know what I'm saying? We're already experienced and we just already experienced the C virus, you feel me, to where a lot of people was just in fear. And a lot of fear was going on back then. People was afraid that they was gonna die from the black plague. So long story short, I want y'all to just see the symbology of that. You know, the fact that he even mentioned it, it I mean China even mentioned it, you know, and it's coming back around. History repeats itself. You feel me? If you don't learn from the lessons of the past, you're bound to repeat it in the future. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. You know what I mean? So it's called the loop. You know what I mean? And especially with us on the outer ends of Mercury retrograde, these past few weeks have been times for people to really buckle down and really learn from their mistakes in the past. You know what I'm saying? Um, so the symbology of that is important to know that, yo, you know what I mean? The fact that they're announcing that, there might be some type of other, like, Thing that comes around that's gonna wipe off a lot of people you know what i mean if you don't make certain precautions you know what i'm saying take certain precautions and honestly there are a lot of people that's gonna die regardless because a lot of us aren't on the same level when it comes to um consciousness in a sense or or light 
because light just means knowledge. You know what I'm saying? When you say you're enlightened, that means you know, you're aware now, okay? Well, there's a lot of people who just aren't aware. They're not aware that you don't have to wear a damn mask and restrict your breathing. You know what I'm saying? Whereas all you got to do is exercise, eat properly. You know what I'm saying? Like, think properly. Don't think negative thoughts all day. You know what I mean? Like, watch what you're consuming in your ears, what you're listening to, what you're watching on TV. You know what I'm saying? The type of people you're around, the type of energy you're around. There's so many aspects to health. But all we care about is putting on a mask and think that's going to stop every damn thing. But it's not. You know what I mean? That's the difference in level of consciousness. And a lot of people who think like a mask is just going to save them, those are the motherfuckers that's probably going to be the ones getting off by, this, by whatever is up next. Because this is the beginning. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, back to symbology. Um, There was another uh, recent... And this... Before I even get into that, there was a... um. There's there's uh, articles and stuff going around about how, you know, Remington, Remington, basically Remington Arms went bankrupt and they were bought out by the Navajo, Navajo tribe. OK, um, Mount Rushmore was also purchased by another Indian tribe. And, you know, um, the football team Redskins is under under development where they're going to they're implementing a new name change. OK, so the symbology in all that is also telling you, hey, the tides are changing in this world that we live in. Pretty soon, you know what I'm saying, these people who colonize this land and who don't belong here are no longer going to be the people in power. The indigenous ones are going to be in power. The biggest thing about that is us, you know, us black people, quote unquote, we're the fucking Indians here. We're the fucking Native Americans here. You know what I'm saying? There's a reason why all y'all don't know where the fuck y'all come from. People want to claim Africa, but if yo, if you don't have no grandmama or no granddad that just know for a fact that we came from Africa and speak and have certain tribal things that you just can trace that back to, then guess what? You from here. You know what I'm saying? Because we've it's been it's been generations of brainwashing to believe that, you know, so that you won't know exactly who you are. But this generation here is the one that's changing shit. You know what I'm saying? We just entered a new age, all right? So another symbology uh, aspect to the fact that, that, you know, people need to pay attention to is the lunar eclipse that just happened, July 4th, 5th. You know what I'm saying? Um, that lunar eclipse was symbolic to the end of this government, the end of the reign, the end of the people who, the false elite, the people who've been running this shit for a long time. Their their power, their power trip is over with. You know what I mean? And you can... Um, it's you can really kind of tell that based off of you know things that are going on so um for example you know like i just said as far as all that indian stuff but um even if you look at aztec culture if you compare that moon the symbology behind that and it's is like synonymous with the aztec um slash mayan calendar that predicted the end of the world in 2012 all right now you can fact check me on this. 2012 is actually 2020 on the Mayan calendar. They're both, they're synonymous. They're the same. You know what I'm saying? Um, we've, lo we've really lost out on a lot of time, quote unquote, just because our calendar, our systems are off. They don't even correlate with the time changes. You know what I'm saying? We call the new year um, January 1st when we still in the middle of winter. How is that a new year? We still in the middle of winter. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, what I'm saying is there's symbology behind that. Now, that correlates to the new age, the new age being the age of Aquarius, that we just, we just left the age of Pisces. So you know in the age of Aquarius, if you were able to research that, then that means that's the age of intelligence, the age of knowing, you know what I'm saying? So all this shit is coming out to light. Now, there was also another article recently talking about, um, you know, CNN, all these places, they talking about this flying serpent. Okay, it was a flying serpent, and it's like you know, jumping from tree to tree, gliding and stuff. Now, the reason why that's important is because if you was to eat first off the Aztecs, the Mayans, whatever you call them, the Olmecs, they're all black people, they had locks, they look just like me, you know what I'm saying, or something like me, you know what I mean. So, at the end of the day, the fact that they announcing, oh, there are flying serpents here, if you were to do your research and know back in the um during the time because the street the she tribe basically their deity was a uh dragon called quetzalcoatl quetzalcoatl was a flying serpent okay so the symbology in 
there's symbology all around you at all times. It's a matter of what frequency are you on? How in tune are you? All right? Because long story short, if you're not able to really see this stuff coming up, then you're going to get off, bro. You finna be out of here. You know what I'm saying? Because the energies of the planet is only is only sustaining people who want to benefit the planet. You know what I'm saying? It's only sustaining people who are able to raise their vibrations and frequencies with the planet. You know what I'm saying? The fact that global warming is occurring, you got to think about it like this. You got to think about the planet like a human being because as above, so below. You know what I'm saying? So if you ever get sick, guess what you do? You heat up and you have to heat up to kill off those bacteria and viruses that's within your body. So if you're not operating in a similar frequency of love and the frequency of this planet, then guess what, bro? You finna get snipped off. You know what I'm saying? Because the earth can't, it's not going to inhabit you no more. You know what I'm saying? So that's why symbology is important. Even Donald Trump recently stated if black people don't learn from their history, learn from their past, they're going to, you know, the same shit will happen again, basically. And he's 100% right. Because motherfuckers want to get sensitive about everything, but they don't even know their heritage. They don't even realize, yo, yo, we from here. Like, they don't even want, they don't care about doing the research for themselves. And if you don't care about your history, low-key, you don't care about yourself because you are your ancestors. So when you want to know, you know what I mean? Or would you just rather be spoon-fed the same way we've always been spoon-fed? And there's always going to be two sides to the story. You know, some people will want to stay in the Matrix, and that's perfectly fine. But if you want to stay in the Matrix, this channel is not for you. I'm not speaking for you. You know what I'm saying? The information that I'm giving out is for people on a similar frequency because we're the ones building this new nation. You know what I mean? All the other motherfuckers, I don't give a fuck about because at the end of the day, they're, gonna, they're not going to be here too much longer. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't gonna matter, it ain't gonna matter to me. You know what I mean? All I'm just saying is that symbology moving forward in this new age that we're in is very, very important. Because I said it myself, like I mean you can go on my Instagram page and all that. I told y'all like be prepared, like watch what's gonna happen after this eclipse. Next thing you know, I live in Atlanta. Next thing you know, twenty four people got shot. You know what I'm saying? Within the weekend. You feel me? Over the weekend, bro, the eclipse just happened. You know what I'm saying? People just... It's Monday here right now. You know what I'm saying? 24 people just got shot, bro. There was like a seven-car accident the other day. You know what I mean? Like, there's so much stuff that don't even make the news. So, it's a matter of you guys really understanding that times are changing. And if you don't change with the times, you'll get left behind. You feel me? There's no... There's no... Um, there's no room for ignorance anymore. You know what I'm saying? The time to be ignorant and la 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 and la la land, that shit is over with, bro. Because in the future, bro, we're going to need seeds that's being that's being planted by people who have a, a mentality of leadership, a mentality of building empire, a mentality of loving one another. You know what I'm saying? So if you're not on that frequency, bro, you don't, it ain't going to be no place for you here. Just being real. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, at this point, bro, I'm not, I don't care about burning bridges or whatever. Because, you know, what lies underneath the bridge? Trolls. And I don't give a fuck about trolls. You know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't that ain't, that ain't what I'm on over here. You feel me? So, long story short, I just want y'all to realize that symbology is important during these times and period. You know what I'm saying? So, pay attention to what's going on. You know, like, um, Mayor Bottoms, you know what I'm saying? And she just basically said, like, just recently, you can't blame after the shootings and stuff happened. An eight-year-old got shot here up in Atlanta, you know, Merck, you know what I'm saying? And Mayor Bottoms is like, okay... Well, you can't blame the police, all right? Five hours later, now she has COVID-19. And now everybody's like, oh, my gosh, pray for uh, Keisha Bottoms. Bro, do you not see what's going on? Do you not see that COVID, her announcing she has COVID is deflecting the fact that she said some bullshit earlier? Or are you just like, oh, okay, like, I'm just going to eat it up and go with the wave? If you riding the wave, bro, the wave is going to take your ass up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, over here, bro, you know, we ain't on that. We about innovation. We about something new. Because the shit that's been in the past ain't working. Normal don't work. Because that ain't normal. The motherfuckers who been here, these laws and stuff that we've been abiding by, how the fuck are you going to abide by laws from people who stole your land? How are you? Why do, why do I even give a fuck about what you telling me is law when you not abiding by the original law, the aboriginal law? You see what I'm saying? So... I'm just letting y'all know, bro. 
Now is the time to reconnect with your ancestors. It's time to reconnect with your heritage. And it's always time to pay attention to the signs and symbols. Because if you don't, you're going you gonna to be left behind, all right? That's all I wanted to say today. You know what I'm saying? Fuck with me, Neighborhood Negus. Uh, follow, follow me on Instagram at Ayasco and at Neighborhood Negus. Uh, Twitter too. And check out my music. You know what I'm saying? It's going to really, you know what I'm saying, open your heart, open your mind on SoundCloud. Peace.